Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, we are going to continue element for personal protective equipment. So in my last video, the link is there in the description box as well. So the last video was about personal protective equipment. Now let us quickly take a grasp of what we understood in the last video and why I broke it into two parts because it was very important to explain the core of this particular element. So personal protective equipment uh, last time we divided personal protective equipment in three categories that is categories of PP, uh, care maintenance and effectiveness of PP and safety in material handling. Now we divided personal protective equipment in these three categories. We were primarily focusing on which type of PPs we were focusing on categories. We were focusing on two categories that is respiratory and non-respiratory. So those used for protection uh, from harm due to inhalation of contaminated air was respiratory. So we were discussing the respiratory part of it. Non-respiratory we were not discussing. So respiratory when we were discussing we were discussing very specifics. What we did we first classified the hazard of respiratory protection that is oxygen deficit environment, gas and vapor contamination, airborne particulate matter and mixed gas vapor and particulate matter so these were the classification of the uh, re classification requirements for the hazards for respiratory protection now then when we finished all this we discussed about key parts airborne particulate matter the nauseic dust toxic particulate matter and fibrogenic dust we discussed these three and then finally we came to okay so uh, when we uh, started discussing this element so we try and explain type of respiratory protective equipment now these respiratory protective equipment are broadly divided into two categories air supplied respirators and air purified respirators now what are air supply respirators and air purified respirator we will come back to that but before that i we must you know first understand that what exactly is air supplied and air purified respirator so what is air supplied respirator so breathing apparatus capable enables a person to work in uh, you know poisonous and contaminated environment for a long or a short period with full physical and mental capacity okay now it is known as rescue apparatus that is anti-gas apparatus or and gas mask such breathing apparatus are required in mines gas works you know chemical factories everywhere confined spaces now it can be also used by fire brigade municipality armed forces and mountaineers the breathing apparatus should be so efficient and reliable as to ensure the safety of the user in toxic gases oxygen deficit atmosphere extreme heat high humidity uh, you know uh, very uh, areas where you know uh, you will be affected by breathing the intoxicated or the toxic vapors so in that area it is required so it is therefore imperative that the breathing apparatus should be easy to wear comfortable to extent possible efficient and safe under various conditions including temperature resistance and have an appropriate design a good quality material and workmanship are the other essential requirement of a breathing equipment besides it should ensure that chemical purity or the oxygen meant for the breathing purpose is con in is you know is conforming to the rigorous physiological physical and chemical and mechanical tests such tests are prescribed by the bureau of indian standards that is bis and is one zero two four five so is one zero four two four five uh, part one two part uh, four is prescribed under 1982 so this is what uh, this is prescribed as per is one zero two four five uh, part 1 to part 4 in 1982 so this is uh, uh, about the uh, you know air supplied respirator now uh, we will continue discussing this but before that uh, as I said that now i hope that this is clear that what what is uh, you know uh, the 
air supplied respirator now i'll also explain you the air purified respirator that is canister type or you know gas mask so the canister type respirator contains canister containing appropriate chemical a full face piece and body harness to hold the canister attached to the body of the wearer the air is drawn through the canister by the wearer normal inhalation force the contaminated air passes through the canister and the gas or vapor present in the incoming air is absorbed in the activated charcoal impregnated to the uh, suitable chemical to neutralize the uh, contained uh, contaminants the canister are designed for specific gas and it is very important that the only the appropriate appropriate type of canister is used for a specific purpose the canister gas mask can only be used in atmosphere not deficient in oxygen and not containing more than 2% of the volume of the toxic gases the life of the canister depends upon the type of canister concentration of gas and activity of the wearer now similar to the canister mask chemical cartridge respirator also provide respiratory protection for the period that depends upon the type of cartridge used the concentration of the gas vapor and the wearer activity the cartridge respirators are recommended for low concentration of gases and vapors maximum 0.1% of organic vapor for easy identification canister and uh, canister respiration uh, respirator uh, specific color has been uh, you know assigned to each type of respirator uh, now this so defined in is uh, air type respirators so it is defined in 8 3 one eight of IS code 1977 and mention of the identification marking for the canister uh, as per IS 8522 the canister respirator should not be used beyond the airborne concentration of the uh, chemical so the for airborne contamination it is under 8522 so you can refer information you can refer these two standards so that you know uh, there is much more clarity uh, on this element as well so i hope uh, i have explained you the two types now we will each individual type that is closed circuit open circuit airline respirator suction hose and pressure mask and then we will take self rescue type respirator uh, mechanical type uh, respirator combination of uh, chemical and mechanical Respirators. So I hope uh, this much part is clear. Now we will discuss both individually. Okay. So uh, we discussed the air supplied respirator. So there is a quick revision. When you want to understand the test that is that are prescribed, you have to go for IS 10245 standard for air supplied respirator. That is breathing apparatus. Now you can see in the image and can understand that what is air. Uh, supplied respirators so supplying air respirators are basically you know connected to the uh, what do you call uh, two types of uh, compressed air circuit kind of arrangements right now we will discuss about the each individual apparatus that is closed circuit apparatus and open circuit so first i'll explain you closed circuit so what is closed circuit so closed circuit breathing apparatus is the exhaled air is rebreathed by the user in a closed circuit type breathing apparatus the wearer inhales oxygen through a one way breathing valve and his and his exhaled breath passes into the canister containing chemical to absorb exhaled carbon dioxide and moisture and then through the cooler into the same breathing bag because uh, you know the oxygen enters the breathing bag from the supplied cylinder only when the volume of gas in the bag has decreased significantly the exhaled carbon dioxide concentration is effectively reduced and the oxygen concentration is enriched it is used either with full piece or with mouth piece and nose clip 
so this is this type of respirators are used like this now coming to the open circuit breathing apparatus so the wearer gets breathing air from compressed air line through demand valve in open circuit breathing apparatus it is demand type respirator air is supplied to the face piece through the demand valve the rate is governed by the breathing requirement actuated by the creation of slightly negative pressure due to inhalation on exhalation the demand valve closes and the exhaled air escapes the surrounding atmosphere through exhalation valve now helmets and hoods are not attached to the demand type respirators so you have to understand this now coming to the airline respirator so airline respirator consists of face piece half or full uh, mass as you can see in the image so now the uh, you know loose fitting helmets or hood are also attached to this so to which uh, you know airline respirator contains a face piece to which air is supplied through a small diameter hose it may be continuous supply type or demand type through compressed air pipeline the airline respirator the length of the air supply hose is to uh, is so that the air supply is maintained but the wearer travel movement uh, you know is restricted or is uh, you know restricts uh, protection care should be taken to ensure that the air supply is always breathable and is not contaminated and free from objectionable odor of oil mist and water vapor and rust particles from the supply line so the only challenge that this air airline respirator has is this only how good is your condition of your respirator and the valves and you know the filters because you have ultimately this that this air directly goes in the uh, in your breathing line so you have to ensure that this is it is at least somewhat pure now coming to the suction hose mask now it contains uh, what is suction hose mask suction hose mask is a very simple device it contains a full face piece connected to a large diameter of a flexible hose the worker draws the air by the own breathing effort the hose is attached to the wearer's body by a suitable safety harness and the safety line and the air inlet end of the hose is provided with a filter to arrest particulate matter air can be drawn in the respiratory uh, you know effort to the wearer up, up to you know 30 to 9 meter uh, 30 feet to 9 meters of length of the hose so it is uh, suction hose mask is like that now coming to the pressure hose mask so pressure hose mask what is pressure hose mask so pressure hose mask is similar to the suction hose mask except the air is forced to the large diameter hose by the hand operated or operate by a uh, motor uh, operated uh, blower so the blower is to be operated continuously while the mask is used from respiratory point of view self contained breathing apparatus has no limitation as to the concentration of gas or deficiency in the surrounding atmosphere but the other factor may limit the time the wearer can remain in the contaminated atmosphere now many gases are very irritating to the skin and can be absorbed in dangerous amount through the skin as such in some situations devices for body protections are also required to be used so this is about air respirator now we will be discussing on air purifying respirator canister type respiratory mask now we have already specified the standard we will uh, like i said that we will take it individually so we were discussing air purified respirator that is canister type gas mask the canister type gas mask consists of the canister containing uh, you know containing appropriate chemical a full face piece or a body harness can be you know attached to the body wearer now we have earlier discussed that the contamination cannot be more than 2% volume of the most toxic gas so the canister gas mask can only be used in an atmosphere not deficient in oxygen and not containing more than 2% by volume of most toxic gas so this is the basic requirement now you have to also understand the concentration of the gas vapor and uh, you know of the uh, you know the canister so the low concentration gas and vapors maximum 
0.1% of organic vapor is allowed. So for easy identification, canisters are, you know, categorized and, uh, you know, colored. So uh, the IS code, there are two IS codes that are involved. That is 8318 and 8522. You can have more information there. Now we will be focusing on the self-rescue type respirator. That is self-rescue type respirator is designed to provide the greatest possible respiratory protection consisting, uh, consistent with the practicability to carry the device at all times so that it is always available for use during escape. It consists of small filter element, a mouthpiece, a nose clip and means to carry it conveniently on the body. The filter element elements are similar to the chemical canisters. The extent of protection absorbed by self-rescue type respirator is between the canister gas mask and the chemical, you know, canister respirator. So self-rescue type uh, respirator are basically, you know, simple device. It is one time you, you can say that it is a use and throw, you know, it is just a very, uh, very nominal uh, type. It is only used for rescue purpose. Okay, if there is an air, you know it, there is contamination or a possible leak, immediately wear it escape the area so it is only meant for that purpose so what it consists of it consists of a face mask a nose clip and it fits perfectly so you just need to understand and uh, it is made for uh, the canisters are also specific so it should be always fits and be available uh, and sealed now the second part is mechanical filter type respirator so mechanical filter type respirator removes the particulate matter from the inspired air by allowing the air to pass through a filter these filters may be single use or reusable if these respirators are used in heavy concentration of particulate matter the filter is clogged with dust particles too quickly and it may have to be replaced every now and then now micro filters are Special filter designed to arrest fine dust particle and ultra micro microscopic size of particulate matters. So mechanical type filters are again same type of respirators. Now mechanical respirators consist of what? It consists of a canister or you know a reusable type uh, single use or reusable type of canister. So when you apply this what happens? You simply uh, breathe through it. If the atmosphere is having a higher concentration you will not you will be able to you the you know the gas will be the canister mass will be damaged and you will not be able to breathe or you will not be safe so that is the reason now coming to the combination of chemical and mechanical respirator so these uh, respirators are provided with a mechanical filter and a cartridge for a specific gas or vapor to remove toxic gas and vapors as well as particulate matter from the inspired air these respirators are used in spray painting work electric arc welding and power formulations of pesticides etc so uh, sorry order uh, formulation of uh, pesticides so combination masks are basically used there why because this involves lot of activity rigorous activity so it should be changeable it should it can be you know uh, reusable is there. Now we will be discussing about the selection of respirators. The selection of respirators. So I hope you have understood uh, uh, what these devices are. So these are simple devices: quarter mask, half mask, full face face piece mask. You can see in the image, and you can identify what exactly they look like. So now let us discuss about the selection of respirator. Now, respirators are life-saving personal protective equipment and hence due care and attention has to be paid while selecting a right type of respirator in a particular work environment. It is necessary to know the type and nature of the air contaminants, level of airborne concentration, severity of hazard, period for which respiratory protection is required, location of contamination are, um, you know, availability of fresh air and expected activity of the wearer so these things are required to be known so what are what are the activities we'll again uh, review it 
the level of airborne concentration. So naturally, the level of airborne concentration should be known. The location of the contaminated air, where it is. Availability of pressure, from where we'll get the uh, availability. Then severity of the hazard. How severe the gas is, what is the chemical involved. Then period for which respiratory protection is required. So what is the activity? How much time it is going to take? So based on that, the respiratory protection can be selected. Now considering the above factors, in addition, the operating condition and limitations of the available respirator are also required to be known. Now considering the above factor and keeping the view of safety of a person at work, suitable and appropriate type of respiratory protection device are selected. So you must understand you should not miss a single point while selecting the respiratory protection. You should always make sure that, okay, this is the activity, this is the gas involved, so this much time of exposure will be there. If this spreads, what will happen? So all those points are to be considered and only then the respiratory protection should be selected. Now, important points to check the quality of the respirators we will be discussing. So to select the best quality of the respirator, the following points are important, what we are going to discuss and are required to be considered. First, all material used in the manufacturing and assembly of the respirator should have adequate mechanical strength, durability and resistance to the deterioration by heat or by contact of seawater or mine water. It should also be anti-static and resistant to fire. So this is the first condition. The second condition is exposed parts Components of the respirator should not be made of metal like magnesium and aluminium or its alloy to avoid functional sparks capable of igniting flammable gases mixture. The third part is the part of the respirator which comes in contact with should, no, should be non-staining soft peelable and should not contain known dermatitis substances. Now fourth point is the respirator should be sufficiently robust to withstand rough usage. The detachable parts should be well designed for easy detachment, cleaning and securely refitting to its main body. Sixth is adjustable parts of breathing apparatus should be readily uh, accessible and easily distinguishable from one another even by touch sensation face piece now adjustable parts you have to understand why why the adjustable part should be you know uh, touch sensitive because uh, whenever you are adjusting it should be at least comfortable to you know pull if you are pulling so you should know okay this is adjusting this is adjusting this so it should be that now face piece of the respirator should cover the eyes nose mouth and chin it should provide adequate sealing of the face to the users adjust uh, you know adjust the outside gas during the movement of head speech communication and dry or moist skin now face piece is not suitable for a person having beard unless it is so designed now face piece should be light in weight comfortable to wear it should be it should have adjustable and uh, you know replaceable uh, uh, head harness so it is very important for people who are going to work uh, with by wearing the face piece they should not have beard because again it creates a uh, gap between the and it doesn't seal the surface so this this test is called fit test so whosoever is the wearer of the personal protective equipment specifically the mask should cover nose mouth chin and the beard should not be there so it should cover completely and there should not be any gap because if there is any gap found in the respiratory device, that means there is, you know, what you have done is you have compromised with the quality and conformity of the equipment. Why? Because the outside gas will enter inside and it compromises everything. So the breathing apparatus is of no use. Eighth point is a nose clip should restrict the entry of air contaminants through upper side of the nose it should be comfortable to use and easy to fit the inhalation and exhalation valve 
should not cause the wearer to apply extra pressure for breathing purpose. The inhalation resistance should not be more than 30 mm of water pressure and before test and 50 mm of water pressure uh, before test and uh, 50 mm of water pressure after test. Now the exhalation distance should not exceed 20 mm of water pressure. So this is uh, basically some technical uh, elements to it. The inhalation resistance should not be more than 30 mm water prefer, uh, pressure before test and 50 mm water pressure after test. The exhalation resistance should not exceed 20 mm water pressure. Now the uh, representative sample of various type of respirators should be tested to ascertain their air quality and they confirm to the specific uh, standard. Now few point, uh, few important specification requirements to be considered are, uh, you know, I mentioned like the quality of breathing air supplied to the user must conform to its standard. So the standard is BS. 4274. So the standard is 4274. And uh, this is British standard. And if we see IES standard, so it is IES 10. We discussed this earlier. 245. So if you are in India, you can refer this. If you are you know uh, working outside, so depending on the country, the standard will be there. So I have here mentioned two standards. For further details about the care and effectiveness, you can, uh, you know, the important uh, points to be considered, you can consider from these two uh, standards, BS4274 and IES10245. Now, the breathing air should uh, not contain more than uh, 0.5 mg per meter cube of particulate matter. If you understand, 0.5 mg per meter cube so this should not contain more than 0.5 mg per meter cube of particulate matter and 500 ppm of carbon dioxide and 5 ppm of carbon monoxide so these are few uh, you know important points to be considered when it comes to the selection criteria now breathing resistance should be within the specific limit life and efficiency of a sorbent or canister can uh, you know canister or cartridge against a specific gas or vapor should be more than or equal to the specific period under different test condition now valves leakage should not exceed the specific specified limit phase piece fit test should be confirmed to the requirements filtration efficiency of dust mask should be more than 98.5 percent of the particle of size 0 0.4 to 6 uh, millimicrons so this is uh, the core requirement of the uh, filters the performance of the respirator are ascertained by uh, you know subjecting to its uh, various tests in a simulated condition as per the specified uh, specification of BIS. Such test facilities are available with the Central Labor Institute in Mumbai, uh, which are utilized by the manufacturers and user industries. Now, Bureau of Indian Standards also stand, uh, you know, sends the sample to the laboratories for ascertaining quality before certifying any respirators with an ISI mark. Now, breathing apparatus should be safety kept, uh, safely kept uh, in a separate bag or container to avoid contamination from the workplace atmosphere. Now, you have to always ensure this. Now, what is the care and efficiency? You, uh, efficiency, uh, you know, effectiveness use of respirator. So, respirators and uh, breathing apparatus should be carefully maintained to, uh, you know, retain their original efficiency. For this purpose, a few of the points. Are required to be taken care now what are those points we'll quickly take those points system for periodic inspection and maintenance with recording should be kept uh, second uh, inspection maintenance and recording every time after use is also important cleaning and disinfecting as recommended by the manufacturer is also important if, if possible respirator may be issued to an individual only the filters of you know dust respirators are required to be cleaned or replaced if pores are clogged user must be trained before they are asked to the 
uh, you know asked to use the respirators uh, periodic drills for the use of breathing apparatus may be arranged or should be arranged at the regular intervals so that your practice is good and when the emergency comes you are ready so i hope uh, uh, you like the video and if you have seen the video uh, by here so you have already hit the bell icon and the like button and you have shared it subscribed it uh, subscribe our channel and uh, keep liking and sharing we'll keep sharing uh, such good videos if you have any other topic that you would like to have uh, you know specific discussion on it will be our pleasure to have that also so thank you very much friends and uh, we'll be back soon